This is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Auralux Constellations. It's important to note that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. You can even see off to the right-hand side there, the game launches on June 1st. Today is May 30th, 2016. So, it's relatively close in terms of release, but uh, there may be a last-minute patch or two. Uh, this game is a sequel to Auralux, a game that I featured on my YouTube channel, I think it was about a year or two ago, um, back when it was on Desora. And for those of you not familiar with it, it's sort of like Euphoria. Uh, your planets or whatever will produce units, and then you can send them over to your enemy's planets in order to try and capture them. So very similar to Euphoria. Now, it's important to note that I haven't had a chance to play this yet, so I don't know to what extent the game remains true to that concept or not. But we'll find out. So uh, here's the main menu, single player versus exit. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Versus real quick. Uh, local and Online. Now, Local... Let's take a look at that. Uh, you can play two, three, or four players locally. You can even use the AI to fill out slots. If you look on the very bottom there, press A to join, press A to join. Now, I don't know how that works. Um, if, if it turns into a split screen uh, for multiple players, or if everyone just looks at the same screen and tries to do their thing. I think that's really cool, though. Uh, Euphoria Local Multiplayer. I mean, that just that sounds really cool. Um, hopefully, I'd, I get the chance to try that at some point. Uh, but there's a map list here. So you can see all the different maps that are available. It looks like there's more. So yeah, all, all different maps. You can even see how many times you've played them. But yeah, so if you don't want to play the campaign, you can jump into a quick skirmish match. There's AI opponents. Uh, I didn't look like there was a way to actually adjust the difficulty level, though. Now, there is also online here. Uh, random match, create private, join private, and then back. Now, because this is a preview build, I doubt I'm going to find anyone. But, you know, single player. All right, let's jump into that. All right. So let's go ahead and... Um, I think there's a settings. There we go. If I hit escape, there's mute settings and exit. Mm -hmm. Under settings, there's sound and music sliders. I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. That's a real shame, though, because the music in this game, or at least in the original Auralux, based on what I remember, was like a techno beat kind of thing. And each every time it beat, the music beat, there was a uh, a new unit was produced on that planet, which was really cool. It's just a very it's a very musical kind of game, and it's just a shame I have to turn the music off to prevent copyright and all that. Uh, you can choose the instrument here. Uh, there's uh, change the musical instrument used for battle notes to find what sounds the best for you. Okay, stats, chat, and uh, classic controls. Chat is used for multiplayer only. All right, so uh, let's just uh, go ahead and try this out. I think this is the first level here. Split easy. Looks like I'll be facing off against two opponents. All right. Looks very similar. Okay. Let's hit okay. Yeah, you can see the beating there. Now, holding in the right mouse button allows me to move around from the looks of it. There is a tutorial, but I kind of... Okay. Maybe I should have done the tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. So I draw a ring around this and... Uh, okay. I get it now. Let's go ahead and capture these planets back here. The more units I can produce, the better. Come on, guys, you got this. How are my opponents doing? Uh, looks like they've captured two planets each. I'm on my way to capturing my third. Let's bring these guys over here and try and capture this one. Now, I'd prefer them to fight each other if I can if I can get them to do that. All right, so they've got, each one of them has three. I've got three going on four. Okay, there we go. I want this one back here. And I should be able to win via attrition. That's basically what these games are all about. Basically, capture more than your opponent and uh, try and, uh, you know, win through attrition. Uh, can I upgrade? Yeah, it looks like it. If I select the same planet or just bring units over to it, there's a little upgrade bar right here. 
So it's got the same same ideas as the original Orlux, but it's oh look, they're fighting each other. I just love the way I mean this game I've always loved about Orlux, the graphics and oops, not what I wanted. Get back there. I love the way Orlux looks and feels and the musical notes behind it and, and the and the, the, the tones, just everything about it is really cool. It's a very simple concept, like Euphoria, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just the sharp, the sharp colors, love everything about that. Oh, let's get some reinforcements up here. Looks like orange and green, or we're all fighting for this planet over here. All right, looks like we got that under our control, good. All right, let's go ahead and bring some reinforcements up here. And I'm gonna go to attack green since he just he just attacked me and he's busy with orange over here. Let's see if I can take over that Nice, okay, so we, it is now neutral. Let's grab it. Oh Orange is now coming after me lovely All right, Send some reinforcements up here and let's go ahead and attack this planet now. Oh Green wants some too uh, Looks like orange is defending that now uh-oh. We're actually losing this planet here. Reinforcements! I don't know why music is playing. I thought I'd turn that off. Or oh, it was playing. Alright, there we go. Whittling these guys down slowly but surely. Let's just keep keep the pressure on. Great, okay, so Orange just lost that one, and we may need some help over here. Let's let's stop. Yeah, let's reinforce this. And we'll go ahead and attack this. Get this planet under our control. Looks like Orange is making a move to recapture this. Incoming. I need some backup there. Ooh, wow. He demolished me. Alright, that's fine. We got reinforcements coming in. This would be much easier if I could just take out one opponent and then only have to deal with one. All right, let's let's go after green real quick. We'll try and just we'll capture this back. There we go. If we can just if we can capture green or take him out. The downside is that that leaves orange to do whatever he wants, and that's not that's not good. Yeah, see, we lost that again. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Alright, let's heal this planet. Alright, let's go ahead and reinforce this. I don't want orange to have any sort of advantage. Nope. Nice try, though. Whoa, he's coming... Full force, he does not like the fact that I took his second planet. Uh, I may need some help over here. Alright, basically I'm trying to keep orange busy over here while I take over the rest of green. Alright, I've got some planets here, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Can we keep orange busy enough while we do this?
Oh, he's damaged. That's good. Keep it up, guys. Come on. All right. We got this. Green is no longer a threat, so we can just throw everything we have at orange now. No problem. Uh, let's go. Let's see him stand up to all this. Which I doubt is going to happen. I can zoom out, too, if I really need to. But I, I really like looking close. I mean, look, look how pretty that is. I just love that about this game. The, the, the neon sharp colors. Alright, let's go ahead and just throw everything we have at this planet. Looks like he's throwing everything he has at it. Yeah, good luck with that, pal. I've got way more than you do at this point. Nice! This is the game Power Graph. It shows you your overall power over time compared to your opponents. Cool. Yeah, this is definitely an improvement over the original Orlocks. This game just introduces so much more, like the skirmish mode, for example, or that local play multiplayer. Uh, that's something that the original Orlocks just didn't have. Uh, I guess we'll do one more. All right, I guess Hex is the next one. Sometimes early aggression can let you knock out one opponent quickly, allowing you to more easily protect yourself later. All right, um, well, let's see what he's going to do. Um, I want to see what direction he's going in. Okay, he's... Green is going this way, so I'm guessing orange is either going to go up or down. All right, let's go ahead and let ourselves pump out some units here. I do want to upgrade before I... Yeah, he's going after this one. All right, no, I don't want to waste units going after one or the other because then the third AI could come after me in my weakened state. So I think I'm going to sit here and just maybe upgrade a little bit. Um, let's see what he does next. Whichever one... I'm waiting to see. Okay, so he's upgrading that. I'm going to go ahead and send units down here to upgrade this. Hopefully green does not come after me. Okay, now he's upgrading this over here. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this then. Oh, green and orange are going after each other. That's awesome. Whoa, okay, so orange is in trouble. Alright, I'm going to go after orange here. Now that he's in a weakened state and see if I can capitalize on this. If I can get this plant under my control. Okay, nice. So orange is gone. And now green is going after this one, so let's let's see if we can get this planet real quick. Basically, I'm trying to weaken him as much as possible here. I, I do want this one under my control as well, the one on the bottom left there, but come on, just finish this off. You got this. Nice, okay. Uh, hold on there. Let's just give ourselves a chance to recuperate. Um... Let's see if we can grab this one. Alright, he's upgrading this one. Alright, so I've got that. And let's see if I can get this one here. There we go. Alright, now he's upgrading. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, um... Just want to keep him busy. I mean, I do have the firepower on my side, so I mean, I've got I've got four to his two. So if I could just keep pressure on one planet, yeah. All right, he's gone there. Let's go ahead and bring these guys up. And I 
think we got this. I don't think there's any coming back from this. You win! Awesome. Yeah, so for a while their green was actually doing very well. Okay, so there you go. Um, again, Aurelux Constellations. This is a pre-release build. Keep that in the back of your mind. But uh, really enjoying it so far. Definitely a great sequel to an awesome game. Again, uh, the original Aurelux was pretty bare bones. Uh, granted, there was a campaign. Uh, but you were limited uh, to playing against uh, two AI opponents all the time. And it looks like you're sort of that way in single player. But in Versus, you can sort of... Um, customize that a little bit. Again, if you go to local, you can play against two players, for example, and then use AI, and now you're just playing against one. So if you do want to, you know, break away from the campaign, you can come here and play against one or up to four, which is really cool. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. More than likely, I'll be recording more anyway because I do enjoy this game. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.